Hey YouTube, I am doing a review of the game I just played this last week called the Red Dead Redemption. Now, um, I'm not going to honestly talk too much about this game. It is a western rockstar game, so it's similar to Grand Theft Auto and L.A. Noire, just set in the year 1911, and it's a western. And uh, I knew this was a good game all these years, just never played it. I knew from friends and such. Um, I'm actually giving this game a 9.8 out of 10 for being, and I'm not even a Western type guy, but that doesn't matter. It doesn't matter at all. It's a, it's an all around game that I think anyone would love. The difficulty is perfect. You actually feel pretty good after defeating some of the harder missions, which actually isn't that hard, and it lets you retry as many times as you want, which and it doesn't make you feel bad. You know, it's a, just perfect in that aspect. Um, the only point I gave it off for is music and sound. It was amazing. It definitely put you in the spot, made you feel like you're there. It just I feel like the music and sound could have been just a little better, it's just near perfect, you know. Um, the story was amazing. I loved playing through all the missions one by one. The side missions, some of them were kind of weird as far as like what would happen in real life. Like some people, I didn't feel I, I didn't feel sorry for, so I didn't want to help them, but. Um, yeah, I mean, it was it was com com very comedic, so I loved it for that reason. Um, I put I put uh, part of my um, rating difficulty in bugs, because some games can be really buggy, and the difficulty factor is really hard or whatever, too easy or whatever. But I just talked about that. It's perfect, perfect difficulty. I didn't find any bugs that bo bothered me at all. I mean, all games have some kind of bug somewhere, but I really didn't notice anything that affected my gameplay in any shape or form. Which, you know, leading into gameplay and the story, like I said, I wanted to follow it along exactly the entire time. Uh, I played it about three hours a night. I, I honestly could have played more, but I have a lot going on every day. I try to fit in what I can. But yeah, overall impression, um, the last game I reviewed was L.A. Noire. Um, if, if any of you don't know, I'm doing a, I'm going back to my collection to play all these games I never beat before, one by one. And this is the second one in the series. Um, the first one was L.A. Noir. I give it nine point six out of ten. Even though I enjoy the game, I like the game as one. Like I like it better as far as being my favorite more than this. But as a, as a game itself, like if I just for game review's sake, I'm giving this a higher rating than L.A. Noir because it's just built better. It took about what what I think five years to make this. Um, but yeah, it, it's clever in the story and how it's made and. Like the small things about it, like you, you can pitch a tent and quick travel. I like that aspect a lot. You don't always have to ride your horse everywhere. I, I, I would give it less points if I had to ride the horse everywhere. Not too many points, like one or two, but it would definitely affect the game. But the fact that you can quick travel helped the game a lot and didn't make you feel like you're like cheating through, you know, skipping and teleporting through land. It didn't really make you feel like that. It made you, because there, there's a lot of missions where you actually have to travel your horse a lot and do a lot of missions as such. So it was, a good, it was a good balance. But yeah, overall, I'm, gl I'm glad I'm done with this game because I was going to do Undead Nightmare next, but instead, the next game will be... Da -da -da -da! An actual game that kind of has mixed reviews. Murder, Soul Suspect. Um, it's a detective game made by Square Enix for PS3, and... I don't rely on reviews, right? We got mixed reviews. Who cares? I'm going to give it a chance, and if I might find it to be really good. I heard it was short, but other than that, I like detective games, and, you know, being a big Final Fantasy lad myself, I like Square Enix. So we'll see what they have in store for this game. But anyway, I hope you have a good 